Welcome to Virtual Ice Skating Coach. In this episode, we're going to teach you about ice dance. Hi, I'm Jamie from Virtual Ice Skating Coach, and I'm here to interview my ice dance coach, Howard Zhao. <laughs> here to tell you a little bit about ice dance and about his own skating experience in the ice dance field. I started ice dance when I was about 12 years old. I started doing solo dance, and then I started skating with a partner not too long after that and competed for about um, seven or so years. And Howard is a national competitor and also coaches ice dance for all levels, including basic skills all the way up until the senior moves and senior ice dance tests. And he's going to tell you a little bit about the differences between ice dance and freestyle skating and moves and what ice dance also can help benefit with other skating. Yeah, so ice dance basically starts off mainly with pattern dances. Um, you'll be learning, basically it's a pre-constructed, almost a step sequence with um, timing of music involved. Um, you'll start off uh, at preliminary, which is the first level, and then you'll go all the way up to senior. There's at least 21 dances that you can do, and then uh, you can also start skating with a partner, and you can compete uh, doing free dances, doing rhythm dances, as well as doing your pattern dances. When you do dance with a partner, uh, what are the type of moves that you would be doing that are additional to your solo moves? So, with ice dance, you don't really mainly do jumps. Um, you would do many things like footworks, you would do uh, a twizzle sequence, you would do uh, a partnered spin, as well as doing lifts together. Um, when you do ice dance, what is gear you recommend for like your skater or if you're a partner like for the dress or like because I know sometimes with the skirt it can get tangled when you're skating with a partner or so, wearing gloves you can slip. Yeah. So usually um, from a girl's gear wise, usually uh, your dresses are going to be a little bit longer. Um, for guys, it's pretty much just the same. There's really not much of a difference costume wise than freestyle. Where do you get the most of your gear that you wear? Um, like competition wear or just or like training practice, wear? practice, training wear, or competition wear. Well, I, I know boys costumes are kind of hard to find. Boys costumes, yeah, usually for costume wise we would have to go through, um, depending on what the person's budget is, uh, you can usually wear just a nice dress shirt, maybe like you can invest in some elastic you know, dress pants uh, for skating. Um, or you can get custom-made costumes as well, which is usually the way to go at a certain level. And what about practice gear? For for guys, it's pretty much just um, Nike, Adidas, your your regular athletic pants. Um, there's a if you go to any ice dance rink, pretty much uh, you'll see all the dudes just wear the Adidas track pants. What skates or blades do you recommend for ice dance? I would say. Starting off, you would probably just need um, some regular Jacksons or Resports. They make them, and they're they're, they're pretty good. Um, I think people always no one really starts off immediately with dance blades, so the transition's a little bit interesting. Um, but you'll you'll adapt to it pretty fast. At a certain point, when you get to a higher level, uh, other other brands like Resport or Harlix or um, Avanza may be a good choice for you. And that's to help with flexibility of your ankles, and that way, because with ice dance you have to have more of a deeper knee bend, and yes. so that way it helps create that flex in your ankle, whereas with freestyle boots you need that stiff ankle to support your ankle, so that way you don't have a sprain or something from a jump. Yeah. And then for ice dance blades, they're also shaped more of a rocker, so right. they so, a little more like hockey. Um, yeah, dance boots, they have a little bit of a shorter cut at the top, that way you can bend more, and uh, usually you'll see that uh, dancers, when they tie up their skates, it's a little bit looser on top, just so um, they have more area they can work with to bend down into their knees and ankles. Um, for blade-wise, their toes are a little bit um, smaller, their toe picks, and their heels are a little bit shorter, just so when you do moves like mohawks, uh, like a forwards to backwards, you won't step on your heel. Or step on your partner's blade. Or step on your partner's that blade. That has happened to me before. <laughs> nice! <laughs> also, uh, when I transitioned to ice dance blades, I'm 
glad you mentioned that when you transitioned to ice dance place because when I did, it was yeah. really like I remember the first practice and my coach was being like, "Bend your knees." Yeah, bend your knees. yeah, I remember. You do is bend your knees. I remember so that too. It was. It is kind of a shock. It, it was. It was pretty okay at first. It was definitely really easy to go up onto your toe, um, but the scariest personally was uh, going to do lifts on the first day, trying them out because it's um, very sensitive to go, you know, onto the your front of your blade or your back. What are you doing as a coach to stay safe and to also protect your skaters with the coronavirus? Um, what I personally do is whenever I have to coach someone, I try my best to do uh, more exercises without being partnered and uh, try to limit the, the time where I would have to uh, partner with them. Uh, usually, personally, I wear uh, double mask, I wear gloves. Um, every single time I partner my kids just to make sure everyone's safe. When you work with kids who are below preliminary, uh, what are some of the exercises you like to do or what do you recommend um, that they start with practice-wise? My favorite things to do is to start off with uh, things like chasses, things with uh, like progressives and crossovers just because um, it's not itself the actual uh, step, it's how they do it. It's the knee bend, it's the ankle, it's the way they have to relax their upper body and not be so stiff so that they can start to transition and start to skate more like a dancer instead of a two by four. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, because the point of the, the videos too is we, we're trying to catch beginner skaters and adult skaters and right. get them to start I, and a lot of times they think they have to be elite skaters. In right, order to it's, do it, it's pretty simple. It just starts off with something very small, just with um, learning to use your ankles more, learning to push starting from your ankles and your knees instead of your whole leg. Um, it's how to use your upper body in any way possible to help you uh, help your skates because your upper body actually does a lot for your skating. Also when you're skating with a partner and you're you have to keep your upper body stiff to do lifts and right. If you're leaning forward, you're going to pull your partner down forward, and it's going to make your posture. It's right. Going to make it's it harder it's to push. good to have good posture. Um, it's it's very important to be able to hold up your partner in a lift. With ice dance too, it not only helps with your skating, but like if you say you play an instrument and you're in band, or you are in dance and you're trying to remember actual steps for your lesson, the music of ice dance and skating to music is also going to help with your counting and tempo, and it's going to help with the flow and rhythm of all things in, that can rel be relevant to school or also to skating and uh, other forms of sports. Uh, yeah, I, I absolutely agree. I think um, ice dance is very musically integrated. It goes uh, hand in hand together. Um, You'll learn immediately when you do your first preliminary dance that it's all about the beats, it's all about the counting, it's all about um, accenting the way you skate with the music to make sure that you and the music skate together. Perfect. Well, thank you very much, Howard. Thank you for tuning in and learning about ice dance. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like on this video and subscribe to our channel.